Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva, and I'm now delighted to be joined by Lunomi Muloa, who's the CEO of Lulapa AI. I know I got that all wrong. Yeah, I was I? good. You had all good? of the syllables. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, good to have you. I know you've been giving speeches. And tell me, what would you like the outcome of this year's AI for Good Global Summit to be? Um, I mean, I don't think it'll be a particular outcome out of this summit. I think it might take some time to get there, but I really hope that we do. Um, in that, I, a lot of what we speak about at these kinds of summits is how technology can really um, help uh, the developmental issues that happen in the other parts of the world that aren't as far along in terms of the infrastructure, etc. cetera. Um, and I would like for the summit to come to um, a place where we have more people from the global south or the majority world represented here um, so that we're building together rather than this built for us um, type of situation. I should point out that for those who are watching is that uh, Lulapa AI, there's 20 of you, you co-founded it yeah. out of Joburg, uh, Johannesburg, I should say, yeah. um, and you're developing language technology for African languages to improve the quality of life on the African continent. Yes. So having said that, how can AI be used to address specific local challenges, uh, and there's so many, to get to the SDGs? Yeah, I think for people who speak English or French or Spanish or Portuguese, um, more of the Western type of languages, the experience of interacting with technology and being misunderstood is a common inconvenience that might happen. Um, but for many people on the African continent in particular um, that rely on technology to gain access to essential products and services, because um, products and services are often just really far away in t terms of um, locality, um, they're unable to do so because the technology does not speak the same language as them. Um, and this means that there's this incredible opportunity for us to leapfrog developmental challenges using technology and language, um, but there is a severe barrier from us doing so because the language technology is not there yet. South Africa has a very young population, like much of Africa. Yeah. Um, so the nature of work with AI is changing. How do we equip young people in particular with the skills and knowledge they need to thrive in an AI-driven job market? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested in this question because I think the... The onset of things like LLMs and ChatGPT has really challenged the idea of what we believe to be useful to teach to people. Um, it's really challenged the idea of what we think about education and what we're training people to do. Um, and I'm quite excited around the prospect of us really determining what humans are really good at, what machines will never know, um, and teaching our youth to use AI as a tool in the same way that people historically have learned to use fire as a tool. Um, or water as a tool um, in order to enhance what they are then able to contribute to the world and, and change in the world. The pace of AI development is just going so rapidly right now. Um, are you in control of it and with the benefits? <laughs> <laughs> I think people give AI a lot more benefits um, than it's due. Um, I, when we talk about AI mimicking the capabilities of humans, it's really um, not an adequate representation of what it is. I mean, it's so much more powerful in many other ways, but also so much less powerful than even a newborn baby. Um, so when we think about technology, I think it's always really important to remember that there is always a human behind the intentions of what technology is going to do. Um, and at this stage and for a very long time, um, any AI that is doing shady things is doing so because a shady human has told it to do so. Um, and if we keep that in mind, um, keep ourselves in check as people who create technology, I think we'll be looking forward to a future where technology makes the world a better place. Well, thank you very much, Lunomi Miloa, uh, um, based in Johannesburg and CEO of Lulapa AI for that insight. And we have much more coming up on the AI for Good Global Summit, so do stay tuned. Mm -hmm.